Good morning, it is Monday the 27th of December. Christmas is over. <coughs> now hurtling towards the New Year's. No work this week, so it's lovely. No, no nursery. Staying home with Mummy. You happy to stay home with Mummy? Yeah? You look pretty? Yeah? Good. So we're watching a bit telly this morning, aren't we? Having a cuddle. So yeah, um, I finished the Titanic one and I'm now going to start reading The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, which I got in Waterstones the other week. So I'm going to read this one next. Jennifer, look at how pretty you are. I'll let you know I get on in a bit. So I've been doing a bit of tidying up upstairs in the bedroom. I've just come down to put some recycling out. The recycling bin is full. They're not coming to Friday, so it's only Monday. Uh, Jennifer is colouring. Paul's talking to his mum on the phone. Jen, what are you colouring? Captain America. You colouring Captain America? Can I have a look? There it is. And Hulk, isn't it? It's having a nice relaxed day. If I can get back up to tidy up in a minute, I will. Did you take Barbie's skirt off, did you? Yeah, because I had to, but I can't put them back. I'll put it back on in a minute, alright? Okay guys, it's night time. I haven't vlogged much today. I've got to be honest, I've got a very bad sinus headache. So I've obviously got a sinusitis attack on at the moment, which is horrible. My head's been hurting all day. It kills when I sniff. It's like I'm being hit over the head with a hammer and the painkillers ain't touching it. So, However, before I was failed by that, I did manage to finish two books today. <laughs> One was an audio book and it was very short and it was The Toast of Christmas by Jodie Taylor, which is a St Mary short story. She releases one every Christmas and then one in the summer, as well as her full length novel of St Mary's in around, I want to say April, but I'm not sure. The other book I finished today was Midlight, li li blah, 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 Midlight Library by Matt Haig. Now I only, only started reading it today, I read it in one sitting. It's probably what gave me a headache. No, sinus sinus, so it wouldn't be that. Absolutely loved this book. I got to be honest, I thought it was fantastic. It's probably gonna take a spot on my permanent shelf. I don't think I'll be getting rid of this one. I really, really enjoyed it. I've got to be honest. So it says on it, it's a wonderful life of the modern age by Jodie Picoult, and it really is. It, it really is. So I really enjoyed that book. So um, also on the book I did, sure I told you I finished that last night. I really enjoyed that as well. Um, book I've got to read, I don't know where I've put it now, uh, where is it, is this, Paul's mum gave me this, Phantom by Susan Kay, which is the backstory to the Phantom, of the Phantom of the Opera fame. So she gave it to me ages ago and she's on at me about reading it and why I haven't read it, so I'd better get on and crack on and try and read that one before the end of the year. But uh, that's funny really, I'm just gonna head off to bed, I might do a quick handheld TikTok just to show the books I finished in the last few weeks, or the last week, so and that's not including ebooks. I can't bother to get my uh, not my Kindle out, my tablet out to show you the covers. I find my Kindle though because I have got a book from NetGalley on there to read and review. If you're interested, I have a book blog which I have not written on for a while. I've actually got quite a few blogs, but um, I've got a travel, I've got a camera, a photography blog. I haven't blogged on that for ages. I have got a Marilyn one which I never use, I don't even know why I've still got it, I might get rid of it. And I also have a books blog which is called Books 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 and I think the web address is booksbooksbooks.blog. So I actually pay to have that address. I love it. I haven't, the last book I reviewed on it was The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osmond uh, which was last year? This year, last year? I'm not sure. Last year, I think it was. Um, or whenever it was, I'm not sure. The thing is, I just looked at it. But now I've got back into NetGalley. I've got the NetGalley shelf up on my phone, so I can read them from there. I've also got the... Sorry. It, it, on my Kindle. I can read them from there. So I have got a lot of reading to do, and I'm really happy because I love it. I probably won't read tonight, though, because of my head. But anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully I'll sleep it off and it'll be fine and I'll be all right in the morning. So I'll see you then. Bye. Good morning, everybody. 
So I feel a bit better, still a bit foggy, still a bit headachy, but better. It's not as bad as it was last night, which is good news. Um, this arrived today. I love the first one. So now I've got the second one, but I'm not reading it yet because I'm reading an arc from NetGalley. It's called The Wartime Secret. I've also got a Kindle book on my phone. And I've started reading Phantom by Susan Kay. Paul's mum gave me this, so I've got to read it and let her know what I think. She loved it, so I'll have to have a look. So that's what I'm reading at the moment. Jennifer has got a scooter, a new scooter. Paul took her out the other day on her old one, and it's all rickety, and he, he thought this isn't, she can't use it properly. So him being in the big soft touch that he is, where that girl's concerned, went and ordered her one from Argos. It arrived last night. He's put it together. So uh, the sun's actually out at the moment. It's quite nice. So we're going to walk down the park and uh, go scooting with Jennifer. So even though I'm not feeling 100%, I still feel a little dodgy. I want to go because I want to see her on it. I want to, to be with her when she uses it for the first time properly. So let's go. Jen with her new scooter. Are you going to have a scoot? Scoot. Oh, I've got to because my back's. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Your nose is running, eh, babe? You know, you're lucky and ready, but you are. <laughs> yeah, come on, Jen, you know how to do it. You can do it. Oh, Jen, you were right. He's so good with her. Stop. You're right. Good. Jen, Jen, you all right? Your hands all right? Let's have a look. Oh, they're fine. You're fine, sweetheart. You're fine. Give us a hug. You're beautiful. Hey. That's it, Jen. Never give up. Oh, love her. She will. She's happy doing it like that at the moment. She's fine. She'll pick it up. She'll get there. Don't do that. It's clouding over now. It was beautiful a minute ago. Look at all the doves up there with the uh, pigeons. So we're back now from the park. Here she is. We're all nice and warm, aren't we, and cosy? Watching the Thumbs Up family. I don't watch them for ages. She likes being in the film. You like being in the videos, don't you, Jen? No. Yeah. You say hello to everybody? Hello. Is she cute? That's two. It's you. Two. I love you, baby. So we're just watching the Thumbs Up family and having a cuddle and pulling faces at you all. So yeah, it's getting a bit chilly out there now, so nice and warm. No, you're not twerking in front of the camera today, do you? She wants to twerk. Go on then. Did you, did you try these nutcrackers? Right, that's enough, put your bum down. <laughs> you're a funny girl, ain't you, eh? You don't like those clothes? Okay, well, you'll be having a bath soon and you're in your jammers on, wouldn't you, tonight? Oh, love you. Mummy? Yes, dear? I want... You're not having anything. Um, I want, I want... Okay, well, it's time for bed. It's about 10 o'clock. It's quite late for me. Um, I watched the Christmas episode of Ghosts, because I enjoy that. And then I watched the Christmas episode of Call the Midwife, which made me cry. For... For reasons. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed those episodes. <sighs> so tired. Anyway, 
That's Tuesday. Oh, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I think we're going to dinner at Mum's tomorrow. We're having the roast lamb because we didn't have it on Boxing Day like we were originally going to. So I think I'm just going to take my medications, curl up to bed and uh, read for a little bit. I, I haven't read much of anything of Phantom today. I'm reading my ARC. I was downstairs. I couldn't be bothered to... I don't want to read that tonight. I'm too tired. But whatever I read, it won't be for long. So I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. It is Wednesday the 29th of December and I have got a ton of washing to put away. And there's more downstairs. There's more to be washed. And there's more to be dried. And there's more to be sorted. So, yeah. There's a, we go through a lot. Obviously with Jennifer, sometimes she gets through three sets of clothes a day. Yeah. So, bless her. I was tired, had a good sleep though. Watched Call the Midwife last night, really upset me, I mentioned it. Um, just because of this woman that had uh, a hemorrhage when she was giving birth and she nearly died from blood loss and the baby nearly died and they needed transfusions. And this is what happened to my mother's mother, my grandmother. She died in childbirth in 1944 of a hemorrhage because there was no blood for transfusions because all the blood that they had at the time was going to the soldiers, yet women were encouraged to have babies. And it made me sad because I felt, uh, you know, I never knew either of my grandmothers because my dad's mum died in 1947 of tuberculosis and my mum's mum died in 1944 giving birth. And they didn't think mum had advised, she was christened in the hospital. Um, luckily, she did. But I do think about all the things I missed out of not having a grandmother over the years. But I did have my grandfather on my mother's side, my other grandfather had passed away in 75 when I was a year old um, and he was a wonderful man and I often think of him fondly um, he was into photography like I am so I get that from him he, he was he was a great guy um, so I do think of that but anyway I'm not here to dwell on the past I am going to get this washing sorted I've going to watch some YouTube on my TV for a change got to go I do a little bit of shopping today just for things like bread milk and things like that little essentials nothing major i'm having dinner at mum's tonight hopefully fingers crossed so i'm gonna get this sorted and done do a bit of tidying up go to Lidl's, come back and chill out i'll see you in a little while hey guys i haven't vlogged much today because to be honest nothing's been going on i did buy this it's a stand bendy stand with a ring light for vlogging um, which I'm going to use for TikTok on the phone so I'm going to have a, a look at that in a bit I've got to get Jen's stuff it was quite heavy duty actually I think it's pretty sturdy I'm head oh yeah that is very sturdy the clip is huge I didn't think the clip was going to be that huge that's going to be very easy to clip it onto various things which is great um, so I'm going to try that a bit later I'll show you it it's got um, power source power button here um, brightness and so on on and off for the ring light it does need to connect to a power bank or an AC adapter which is fine I got tons of those and it's really heavy duty a lot heavy duty more heavy duty the ones I've bought that have cost more this was $7.99 in Lidl's and it looks really good so I'll show you it when I've set up because I want to do a few but, uh, book talks tonight. Zed's uh, up here. Look, here he is. What's he said? See you now? No? Here well, is his put Look at those beans. Have you seen these beans? Beautiful. He's so gorgeous. He's so soft. Feels like silk, he does. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's uh, inspecting the books. You're going to read the, the uh, Element Encyclopedia of 5000 Spells, then, you? <laughs> Probably not. Anyway, I will get Jennifer ready for bed. She's really tired. I'm gonna have a drink with Paul before I come up and fiddle with that. But it's a lot better quality than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so I've just been doing a bit of colouring in this, which is Jade Summer. Hundred amazing pounds. I love this book. Um, the cat's had it, as you can see, he's put his claws through, which is not good. But I like it for just the patterns that it's done in. I like, I like to use the glitters in it. But even the, the normal ones are still good. It's metallics. Loads of glitters. Whoa, it's, like, whoa, it's a fiesta. And then, this is the one I'm working on next at the moment. 
so it's been a whip for a while which is why I've been working on it tonight so but I'm now going to go to the bathroom and get a drink and I might do a bit more but I think that's pretty much going to be it for tonight I put two TikToks up which is great I'm watching a bit of YouTube and yeah I tried out my new vlogging thing it looks really good actually it's really sturdy and it clips well I clipped it onto my bedside cabinet no problem I know it will clip onto these without any issues it'll clip on my desk it'll clip on to this so I might see if I can set up my phone to do a short colouring video for New Year's Eve just for a change something a bit different and if I like it I can do live streams from my phone and I could do it here uh, from my bed. I can have the laptop next to me so I can answer comments. Uh, yeah, that's what I want to do in the new year. Is um, Every now and again, about Friday, 9pm, or when there's football on, on Thursday, whatever, I'll do it then. As we've only got a couple of days left, I've got a stack of books to add to the TBR list in my reading journal for next year. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 13 or 14, potentially maybe more because there's a couple there I'm not gonna I've got four books on the go at the moment and I'm not even sure I'm gonna finish reading them so I got one arc on my kindle I got a book on my well actually no it's three now because I actually finished a book earlier on my phone on the kindle app so I don't really need to start one of those I've got oh, excuse me bombshell the Marilyn book which I'm struggling with and Phantom so which I don't know where it is I think it's downstairs so I'm going to try and read a little bit of Bombshell in a bit get a few more pages through it's a horrible book but it's got to be read I can put it away <laughs> I have got a good stack of books for next year and tomorrow we might go and see Paul's mum she's got a charity shop I have bought books from there before. I might have a look at the books. Can I get some for Mum? Um, I'm sure she's got some for me anyway. Uh, to read. So yeah, I'm going to go to the bathroom, get a drink, and then head off to bed. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Gosh, we're nearly at New Year's Eve. It's the 30th tomorrow, I can't believe it. I've still got to do my tax return. I got to the end of January, but I'm going to try and do it. To, to, to over the next couple of days I'm just so chilled at the moment I feel so relaxed, it's wonderful and I'm not feeling as tired as I normally do, which is great so I'll see you in the morning, bye good morning everybody, it is December Thursday December the 30th, here's Jennifer and we're going to go up the tower, aren't we? which means Newport Town that's all. and then we're going to see Nanny and Grandad there's nothing. You want to see like Nanny Sally? Of Cindy Lou. I don't want to. Alright then, well we'll see. We're gonna go up the tower anyway, aren't we? Have a look around town. You cute Jen? Oh, and she's gone. Um yeah, so I'll take you with me and we'll have a look around. Hi guys, we did go to Newport, but I didn't take any footage, it was absolutely hammering down most of the time. Um I'm shattered and I'm about to sleep for a bit. I did pick up some books in the St David's charity shop. The big one. There was like six for one pound in the paper bags. Um, and I also picked up a camera. Now, they had lots of cameras. But they were, to me, overpriced because they weren't tested. They had a Yashica SLL. I think it's one I've got. Pentax P30T. Again, that's one I've had. And they were asking 25 quid for them, which isn't bad because they're doing some of the mad lenses with them and flashes and other bits and pieces. But for an untested thing, um, no, I wasn't going to buy anything. I did pick up one compact, which is this one. This was this is an Olympus Mu 1. The Mu 2 is the one they want people want because it's got a really good lens on it. But even the Mu Mu 1, the Mu 2 is what people want. Even the Mu 1. Is selling well now I had a look on eBay people are listing them for parts and selling them for parts only because they don't work for 20 quid I paid three pound for that if when I get it open tested and it works these are selling now the new ones for around 140 quid 
So if I could turn that into 100 quid, I'd be happy. Although I actually kind of want to keep it myself. So I've got to, I've got to uh, open it and, uh, you know. In fact, this is a Mew One Zoom, which is probably not as good. But you know what? I don't care. Thirty-five to seventy. I still love playing with these things, so I'll have a good look at it. It's a good enough camera, even even if it is that. Uh, I still thought it's fifty quid, so who knows? I'll have a look. The cat's trying to get it out. Off. Oh, no. Anyway, I have a lie down. I've shattered because I didn't sleep last night. So we did have a McDonald's, which was nice. Well, I will see you in a bit. Hey, everybody's in, well. Paul's watching the football. Jenna's in bed. I'm up here watching uh, YouTube. Um, I'm watching about the Olympus Museum, which is the camera I bought up. I bought today. I put a film in it. It works. Um, they sell for around eighty to hundred pounds on eBay, and I paid three pounds for it. So that's cool. But I've been doing a bit of decorating in my reading journal. So before we just had that, that, and that. I've put some washi tape on here and a sticker. And then I put some stuff on this blank page, so a part of the as a dictionary, some more washi tapes, more stickies, and some just some bits from various things. Now I've got this page left to decorate. I've added more to the the physical TBR. We're up to 191. That does not include the six I bought today for a pound. Or the series I've got of around 20 to 30. Yes, I did. So it's my Goodreads challenge already. I'm really excited. I can't wait to start. First went the Contax T5s, then the Rico G1. Yeah, we got month bought, read, pages, whether it was a physical ebook, audio, or re read. And I've sort of space to put in if it was a library if I want to. Stephen King 12 and 22, my classics 12 and 22. And then we've just got here January, books added, so books I get, um, whether they're given to me or I buy them, I'm going to go on this page, there won't be that many every month, and then we're going to start on this page with my little reviews, so I'm going to start getting ready for that, and I'm going to finish writing in my 2021 diary, only today and tomorrow to go, and it's done and it'll go on the shelf. Good morning, can you see Jennifer in the background there? Put your clothes on. Anyway, um, it is New Year's Eve, hooray, I think. Maybe not. She's coming to say like, oh, you just switched the cat. He did not hurt you. Yes, you know? Anyway, she, uh, I've got to go and take my dad shopping and get a few little bits and pieces. And then I'll be back. So, yeah. Okay, guys, hey, it's 11 o'clock. I'm not going to make it through to midnight, so I just want to say happy new year, new year. Part of the reason is Jennifer will be getting up at six, maybe earlier, depending on when she wakes up, and I can't do these days without getting a good night's sleep, so happy new year, and I'll see you in the morning when it will be the 1st of January, 2022. Everybody. It is Saturday the 1st of January 2022. Let's hope this year is better than the last one. Can't be any worse. Well, actually, it wasn't that bad for me. I was quite happy working from home, being with Jennifer. It all changes this year. Jennifer will be going into her nursery um, for five days a week, but three of those days will be two hours longer. She'll be going in from eight until three which gives me a little bit of time i'll be finishing work at one o'clock on those days and that gives me just under two hours or so to uh do some ebay or some coloring videos or some book talk meaning it frees up my evening that i don't have to do very much so what i might do is just put my ebay items live in the evening um, before I go to bed but it means I can have them all ready and I'll have two days out of those three to do that the third day is Fridays and I take my dad shopping on Fridays so I will be sorry just excuse me a minute uh, taking him shopping so that will get rid of those two two hours but that's fine still gives me two days to photograph as much as I can in the first hour or so and then spend the next 40 minutes getting everything drafted and then all I've got to do is press the live button and off they go. I do have three to post. They've got to be posted by the 5th so they're going to be posted to, um, on Tuesday. 
which is the fourth I believe yes the fourth um wig I'm about to get dressed I haven't got dressed yet I've got to be honest I had an asthma attack this morning and, I to, and when I do that it makes my chest hurt and then I get really tired so I've actually been for a lie down but I'm up now I'm gonna get dressed get Jennifer dressed and we are gonna go to the park it's not very nice though I'll grant it I'm gonna take a carrier bag to sit on because it'll be wet but just so we can get some fresh air and she can play on a scooter basically so we're gonna go down I'll take you with me um yeah it's gonna be all right I can't wait I'll uh, see you in a bit so we made it to the park as you can see Jennifer scooting away over there mm. it's very gray it's a bit rainy I'm sitting on a carrier bag because I don't want a wet ass and Paul's sitting on Jennifer's coat which is inside out so sitting on the inside here she comes she loves that scooter. Still hasn't quite got it, but she's getting there. I want to sit in there. You want the scooters now? Ah! Stop showing ah! off. I don't want to sit there. It's wet there. Well, we're all home in the warm now. I've had a shower. Got clean jam jams on. Paul's just having a coke. Jennifer's playing with, I dread to think, dinosaurs, I think. I'm reading this, I'm over halfway through. We've just got to the Paris section. They're building the Paris Opera House. So we'll have to see. I have heard that uh, the ending is deviates from the original. So we'll have to see what we think about that when we get to it. I am currently printing off some covers for my uh, journal, for my, my, my diary, my reading journal. As you can see, there's a cover of fans from there because hopefully I'll finish reading that soon. And I'll be popping that in and I'll show you what I'm doing with that. As you see on here, my laptop. I'm just doing this now, trying to get it sorted. And then a, a load more of these. Ones. This is all some of the books that are on my TBR. So I am just going to do as many of them as I can. And it'll encourage me to read them. So yeah. Of course, if I go to the library, it'll be different. But I'll print out a load and then I'll get some partly ready. And if I go to the library, I'll put them on. I think Zed's attacking Jennifer, so I better go and see what's going on. Okay, everybody's in bed. I've just come up. Cat's driving me up the wall. Just knocking everything off of everything, you know, the way they do. And right, my first day in my diary. That way around. I might come and take talk in a minute. And if the cat annoys me, I'm gonna take him downstairs. I've printed out some more of these because I noticed this book was out. Hang on. You can't read what it says. Ghost of Christmas Pass by HP Bain, which is a um Brown and Grey case file. I've read all the others. I love those books. Uh, I just noticed it was out, so I am reading that as well. And I have just under 100 pages of Phantom to go. I'm going to try and finish it tonight. So that'll be my first finish in 2022. So, and then I'm going to start a physical book. I'm going to try and read a bit more Bombshell, whatever that is. But this is next on my list. Stephen King, one of 12. End of watch. So I've got a stack of books there, so they're the ones I'm going to be uh, delving into first. I'm, hot. I'm feeling a bit down, I'm not going to lie. It's all because of the cat and Jennifer. It hurts when she has a meltdown like that. But she's not even full yet, so... It hurts. I'm just too soft. I love her so much. She's sound asleep now, she's fine. And she won't even remember it in the morning. At least I hope not. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to crack on, get some sleep, finish this book, because I'm, like I'm nearly done. Let's see what happens. I'll talk to you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. It's Sunday, 2nd of January. It's the last day of the weekly vlog. Uh, Jennifer got me up at 10 to 7. I'm a bit tired. I'm just sitting here, sorting out, washing mine and hers. Paul does his own, but she goes through so many clothes that it takes me ages to get it organised. I do hers first and put mine in a pile, and then I sort mine out, and then it's done. I then got to get my desk and chair clear ready for work on Tuesday. We have got tomorrow off, which is nice. Um, and then Tuesday it's all back to the grind, back to normal. Not looking forward to it. <laughs> anyway, um, 
what's been going on as you know i finished phantom last night yep and i've started end of watch um which i'm on page 33 which is cool i love stephen king um on my phone i'm reading a book called ghost of christmas past which is by hp Payne, and it's a grad but a blah blah a braddock and gray case files so this big long series there's two series actually there's the sullivan gray series first and then you got the braddock and gray case files so i've read sullivan gray and now i'm reading um this one which just came out so that'll be probably be my first ebook of the year on the list because it will not take me long once i get started because they're absolutely brilliant but uh, i gotta get on with this because Oh, yeah, I've got to sort out my desk for Tuesday and there is also we've got to go shopping there's always shopping to be done and I also need to do my accounts um because the eBay account owes me some money always does um and I, take, I, and I don't do it and I should do it every day or every day that there's something to do but I don't which is naughty so anyway I'm going to crack on with this and I'll see you in a bit Jennifer is being a right pain at the supermarket and Paul's had to go on his own because she won't get out of the car because she wants to take her scooter in and we told her no. <laughs> so we're having to sit in the car and wait. We shouldn't even be in a baby space because she won't get out. Should we go in? Are we going in the supermarket with, with Daddy? Mm. All right, we won't. I can't anyway because he's got a ma he's got my mask. Anyway, it's quiet anyway, so I'm not going to worry about that. But is there right pain in here? I should tell you. She can be a right pain. You're a right pain, aren't you? We're going to show Granddad your scooter in a bit. Yeah, you're a naughty girl. Now, if we were at home and the camera on, she'd go, don't say that, and start crying, wouldn't you? Well, it's the end of the week, Sunday night. We <coughs> didn't really do much today. I had a really bad headache. So when we got back from shopping and I'd had my lunch, I had to have a lie down. That's about it, really. Nothing else happened. We had dinner and put uh, Jen to bed. So, oh, there's a cat here, look. Here he is. You know what I said? So to show you the first page in my journal that's got book information on. So there's Phantom. And, uh, oh, Goldie's got me, uh, no, 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 no. Get off of me, ribbon. Uh, yeah, Phantom, which I've been reading, and Ghosts of Christmas Past, which is a short story. I finished that today, so that just shows you how it's going to look. Excuse me, I am wheezing a bit. I like it, and uh, that good reads challenge. One physical, one ebook. Green is audio. Yellow is library. If I ever get anything from the library, I'm reading Stephen King at the moment. So I've been writing down how many pages are in each book. I think I missed a, a number off of there. It should be 158, and I've just put 15. Eight. There we go, because it was a short story. I'm off to bed now. I will see you in the morning when we'll start a new weekly vlog. And Jet said, let go of the camera strap. <laughs> we'll do it all again. Here we are. You say hello. Bye. <laughs>